Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for a face shave using Martin DeCandra again. Unscented. This was very kindly sent down from Craig Stanway, the owner and artisan of facefatshaving.com. And it is another, it's vegetal based, the same as face fat shaving. However, this stuff is just phenomenal and it's no disrespect to Craig and Mohammed over at Grooming Department and everyone else out there making vegetal based soaps. This stuff for me is really good and it's got hardly any ingredients in it. It literally has stearic acid, coconut oil, water, potassium hydroxide, glycerin and sodium chloride and that's it. There's no scent in this one and it is truly unscented. I can't smell anything from the tub or when I lather it up. It lathers up an absolute treat. It really does. It shaves well. Post shave for me personally is excellent. It's really moisturising and I've done my head shave today using it and I haven't applied any post shave balm, nothing at all and you can see the, the shine on there but there's no dryness. There's no irritation, there's no nothing. It's incredible soap, but it's a hundred Australian dollars a jar. So it's a lot of money. Now I've been told 200 mil, 200 grams of soap is seven ounces of soap. It's a lot of soap. Craig's used this quite a bit. And as you can see from the room all the way around, it hasn't been used much and taken down much. I probably use more of it than he's used in all of his shaves, but hopefully he's not gonna hold that against me. He'll probably be happy if he gets to the end of it, he can finally buy a scented one. But I'm gonna be using a bore brush today with it. So my process on this is going to be I used the mixed brush yesterday, the mixed Simog, Boar and Badger here, 50-50 mix, the Caravella knot, and today I'm going to be using the 30mm Whip Dog Boar, as you can see there. Now I'm using the rear facing camera again for a higher quality image for the face shaves. Head shaves will be using the, the FaceTime camera. So as you can see this beautiful handle turned from Milton over at Turn and Shave, absolutely stunning. He's got two more brushes will be coming my way, one of which will be the first he's ever made and it might start a bit of a, a craze over, over at Turn and Shave. I hope it does. I, I know it's not going to be a cheap phase or craze for people to purchase, but it's I'm, I'm really excited to see it. I can't wait to see the finished product. I'm hoping it turns out well. So be using that. So I'm going to dip that in the warm water. Now what I do with these board brushes generally if I have time is I will actually soak them in cold water and up till about there, that's all I soak it to, up to about there on the knot so it sits that way and I put the water up to there and then I chuck it in the freezer. So it might wreck the knot, I don't know, we'll soon find out. If anything it's making these knots softer, it's not wrecking them at all, the knot. there's no hairs falling out, it's not cracking them and the handles are staying well, the knots aren't falling out so we'll just see how it goes. So I've shook out the excess straight into the soap. I'm going to load this a little bit more than I did with the synthetic for my head shave, for my head shave yeah. but mainly because this is a funny little knot. It, it needs a little bit more soap in it even though it's not a big knot because it doesn't really hold as much lather to get through three passes. The soap just lathers up pretty much instantly off the tub off the top of the soap. I hope Craig is not cussing me for getting stuck into this with a load, but he told me to use it a few more times. <laughs> Making it back and it'll be half empty. So there's my load done. That's not a lot going by my standards. Good splash of water and here we go let's paint it on with the turn and shave 30 mil whip dog now this knot was actually set from Reyes Restores over in the States because Milton will not send natural hair brushes out of well by by year I think or out of the country I don't know if that stretches to Canada or oh, the American Islands, I'm not sure. Right. Paint a bit of water in. And again. 
One of my favourite favourite knots this now. 30 mil bore. I would never have thought that a bow knot would be so enjoyable to use. And one last dip I think before we split. It. it needs more water. This stuff uses a lot of water, it loves water, this soap. And here we go. Dip the tips. This soap, for me, just lathers so, so easy. And it makes an incredible lather. Absolutely stunning. I can't. It's everywhere. And it tastes nice <laughs> for, for an unscented soap. It's got a nice flavour. Right, I'm going to be using the carb razor, so I'm going to whip this open now. There's no blade in here just now. I've taken the Gillette Super Stainless Australian blade that's up there. I've taken that out and I'll use that again. I've just put it to the side. Three piece razor. I've got the C plate on here and I'm going to be trying one of these Supermax Blue Diamond. Double wrap blade. It is wrapped in wax paper as well on the inside, so there's no glue dots anyway, which is great. Super Max Blue Diamond feels like a very thin blade, which normally suggests to me that it will probably be pretty sharp straight off the bat, but won't have great longevity. But we shall see. Just wet the razor and straight into it. Now, this is coated, isn't it? Platinum coated, so I'm going to give it a little bit. The first couple of strokes here are a little bit rough, but because it's coated, I need to give it a little bit of time just to bed in, and it's getting smoother already. There we go, it's really smoothened up now the blade, the blade feels lovely. Sometimes with those platinum blades and coated blades, you just need to give them just a little bit, a few strokes of roughness to get to the smoothness. 
and the residual slickness on this soap is absolutely brilliant. Like, it's really good. It's, like I keep saying, I think it's, is it six? One, two, three, four, five, six ingredients. One being water, so technically five ingredients. I know water is part of it, but. So luxurious on the face. interesting to see how well it does on the third lather because that's where this knot sometimes just doesn't quite give me enough lather enough to shave with because you don't need a heavy lather for the second and third but I mean that's still a pretty exceptionally voluminous lather for what it is and we'll across the green with the Supermax Blue Diamond which was very very kindly sent over from OIV Really nice place, it's really starting to loosen up now. through the second pass, brilliant. Right, lather number three, let's see what happens. Bear in mind, this is a bore brush. They do tend to eat lather. They don't tend to be able to reproduce and create again on a third pass if you dip the tips. Look at this stuff go. Look at that. And it's still thick. It looks super thick.
Yep. Exceptional soap. Supermax blade is really, really smooth and up now. It's the carve is just so smooth anyway, but when you get that blade smooth as well, you barely feel it. It's just the best way I can describe this razor to anyone interested is it feels like it's peeling the hair off rather than shaving it off. Incredible shave again. <laughs> wow, right. Now it does say that you can just literally rub this into your skin and leave it. I don't really like doing that with anything. So I'm just going to rinse this off. Plus, for me, whether it be a hot day or a cold day, there's not many better feelings than splashing cold water on after a shave. done and dusted again. There's still loads in this brush and it's, I mean it's thick stuff. It's so slick. But we'll get it rinsed off. We'll get the soap rinsed off. Go through what was used. That can be done and dusted again. Another two cracking shades done. The great thing I love about this knot is Short lofted, so it doesn't take a lot to clean it out. That's it, just with the water flipped out. You can see how twisted the knot is itself, all the hairs sort of go everywhere. But it's a stunning little brush, stunning little knot. It certainly suits a stubbier, short style handle. Definitely, for me anyway. I think if you put it in a long handle, I think it would just look a little bit sort of stumpy. Whereas the knot looks good in proportion to the size of this handle from turning shape. And that's what it looks like when you give it a bit of a dry. Just a brilliant, brilliant little brush. Right, we'll rinse the soap off. One thing I like about the soap as well, the labels are super water resistant. They feel almost like, like hard coated plastic printed on. I'm definitely making a dent on this soap, Craig. I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> I've probably used about five bucks worth of soap so far. You can actually see the rim now. <laughs> yeah. But it's 
bloody good soap. <laughs> Martin de Candre, unscented, massive glass gel, seven ounces of soap. The label is almost perfectly straight. It's not a million miles away. And that is the soap in there. I mean, it literally gets filled right to the brim. And uh, once again, it's your ingredients list. Is that upside down? Nope. The brush performed phenomenally well, as it always does. But with this soap in particular, I was able to really get a great shave from it. Get got shit tons of lather out of it. So the soap performs extremely well, even in sort of thirsty, soapy eating brushes. These natural bone knots and things like that, they do tend to absorb the lather, make it dissipate and disappear. So uh, hats off to the soap itself and the maker of the soap for making a soap that doesn't just disappear into the, into the wilderness. The card razor, solid brass, and it had a brand new Supermax Blue Diamond Platinum coated blade in there. And I tell you what, after that first few strokes, when you take that edge off the blade, that platinum, and it wears off a little bit, you're left with a really sharp, smooth, efficient blade. It's very comfortable to use, and in this razor you can barely feel it, if I'm honest. I've got one little bump here. Other than that, my skin's starting to clear up. It's not quite there yet, but it is clearing up over the use of the Blackbird and the, the Chevette that I was using for a bit. The car for me just leaves my skin feeling amazing. Super close shaves, literally no irritation. Uh, it's just brilliant. I love it. What a shave again. If you've got any questions, pop them down below. Any comments, pop them down below. If you liked the video, hit a thumbs up. If you loved the video, subscribe to the channel. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next shave. Cheers.